by Thomas McClellan and George Gibson. So guys, welcome back to the uh, virtual party. This is a party where we virtualize everything. Yep, <laughs> which is uh, which is very like uh, anti-social. Very anti-social. <laughs> very anti-social. So we're, we're, we're episode four, Thomas. Episode four of the virtual party. And uh, obviously, guys, you've been watching on TikTok. You've been listening to us on Spotify. Uh, we appreciate and all the help. All, all the support. love and support love that we've got so far. Um, and we're live on TikTok. And we're live on TikTok. Yeah. And don't know who's watching, but we'll check that later. We'll check that later. Luke, our, our butler Luke can check. We, we have uh, loads of people in, in this small. Yes. Oh, that's another thing. If you're watching this, obviously you can tell we're back in our usual place. Yes, the old apartment. The old apartment. Uh, well, new apartment. Well, it's new. It's technically, it's new, but, it's, new, like, but it's, it's all, it's all for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because but, no, do you know why we got kicked out of the studio? Your sparkling water. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We spilled sparkling water everywhere. Yeah, they, yeah. They didn't Chris, Chris Tate, no, it was so. Chris. Chris Heath, he yeah, stole yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that was. And they good. didn't support Andrew Tate, which is not good. No, no. So yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Thomas, um, there's something yes. you wanted to mention first here. Yes, I want to talk about it first. I saw this on a TikTok video. <laughs> I want to talk about this first, right? Why the fuck were there pyramids in the Antarctic? <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, um, let me tell you a story from Balamori first. Well, that's the story in Balamori. Yeah. <laughs> so, there was this man called Admiral, Admiral Byrd. Uh, I thought you were going to say Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it's a trap! It's a, it's a trap. It's a trap. Technically, it's a trap. Someone invited me last no, no, we're not we're doing that. that. No. Right, so, <laughs> Admiral Byrd, Admiral something Byrd, yeah. and he explored the Antarctica region in the 1950s, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, he said there was a hidden civilization or something, yes, or something like yes, that. Yes, yes. So why, Thomas, why has every country in the world, every major mm -hmm. country in the world, signed the Antarctic Treaty? Mm -hmm. Why aren't we allowed to explore? Mm -hmm. Why aren't we allowed to go over the ice wall? Now, one Is theory, the earth flat? One theory for me, right? One theory, right? One theory for me is that either they actually do care about the environment, they're just saying stay away from Antarctic, you know, because of pollution, you know, taking care of the wildlife. But then... Whenever that stuff comes about, it's like yeah. there is something that more deeper. Sense. And then obviously they leaked that footage of the Pyramid night. Again, that could be CGI. That could have been CGI. Someone must have put, you know, Pyramids there, you know, after effects, whatever the yeah. hell. You know. Luke, what do you think? What do you think, Luke? Well, the Pyramids, sir. <laughs> yes, I, in, I, in, I, in Antarctic. I truly believe it was built by mankind, sir. <laughs> no, but in the Antarctic. Oh, the Antarctic, sir. Yeah. The pyramids in the Antarctic, sir. Yes. Uh, Civilisation, sir. Oh, there you go. And so I think the rich people are hiding some. They're they're all they're all hiding there. Why are you hiding, George? They're hiding. A <laughs> Why are you hiding? They're hiding a secret toaster. <laughs> what, what are you hiding? They're hiding a secret toaster. A secret toaster in the pyramids. The, <laughs> imagine the entire pyramid and there's like one tiny toaster. <laughs> one piece of uh, one piece of toast. It was burnt. <laughs> yeah, first piece of toast. Good Jake, speaking of uh, toast. Uh, no, no, no. I want to ask you first, right? I want oh, to okay, ask you. Okay, I want to okay. ask you. Um, this is this is very serious, by the way, guys. This is a very serious question for George, right? What's your favorite potato? My favorite. Your favorite type of potato. Favorite type of potato. Mm -hmm. It has to be my, the old, the old mashed potato. Mashed potato. The old mashed potato. Do you not like your roasties? I like my roasties as well, but uh, a, a, nice, a nice, a nice, a nice Sunday dinner, right? Nice Sunday dinner. You have your roasty. Roasty, roasty. You have your gravy. Your chicken. Oh, delicious! Yeah, you know, I do like a mashed potato. Yeah. It's very versatile. It goes with everything. No, I, obviously our opinions don't matter about potatoes because we actually have an expert. We actually have an expert <laughs> on this show, guys. Uh, if you don't know, he's file ever on TikTok. Uh, he's called Mr. John Devlin, and uh, we're gonna bring him on board. Come on, John. Let's give him a clap. Come on, John. Yay! What is happening? All right, John. Hey, nice to see you. All right, John. How are you? Welcome to the home? podcast. Nice to see you. How's going? So, John, actually, so. George's favorite potato is mashed potato. Mm -hmm. Mine's toasty. Yeah. What's your favorite potato? This is very important. It's it's not about the potato, lads. You know what I mean? It's about the the sort of positioning that you have the potato in life. Okay. Makes sense. Now, in terms of what you're doing, <laughs> in terms of what you're, you know what I mean? It, it's all about family. Yes. You know, it's all about uh, the connections you have with that certain potato. So we shouldn't separate like, oh, my so favorite mash, my favorite no, roast. No, it should be like one, one big potato. potato. It's all yes. about integration. And removing this sort of stigma we have right, around right. which potato is better. You know, I, that's, that would be my argument. But if we were to put a gun to your head, what would be your favorite roast steak? <laughs> a roast steak? Ah! Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Everybody loves a wee roast steak. Well, I have a very important <clears> question <throat> for you. What is a culture? What oh, is a culture? Ooh, that is cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to remember, I'm born from Africa. I've, I've lived here all my life, oh, really? but I'm not exactly in with all the... Uh -huh. Who the fuck had a phone on? Who the fuck? 
Um, well, if we're going off the traditional view of a cult sheep, they are a hardy breed of men. You know what I mean? They are the, they are the, they are the bread and butter, the foundation of humanity, really. You know what I mean? The farmer folk, <laughs> the, uh, the, great, the great people of, oh, the, yeah. of the fields. Oh, you yes. know what I mean? Oh, yes. The Fermana people, if oh, you will. Oh, yes. um, yeah, oh, you know, yes. um, what I love lots about cult sheep, though, to be fair, more so than anything else that I'd be honest with you, is in the, my entire time I've been doing TikToks, I've been taking the piss out of everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Catholics, Protestants, <laughs> you know, uh, extreme, like extremist leaders, whatever it is, right? Yeah, yeah. The only ones you never had a problem, the only ones I never had a, a negative response from, culties. Culties, okay, are, yeah, culties yeah, yeah. are the best crap. Now tell me this, right? Mm -hmm. Can anyone be a culty, no matter if you're in the city or if you're in space, whatever the hell? No, I think, uh, if I was honest with you, I think culties is a lot like the royal family. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> just, just no Prince Andrews, no Prince Andrews, please God. <laughs> no, no more, no more. <laughs> I think Instead of touching the child, they're touching the <laughs> potato. It's like, oh yeah. Um, I'm, not go, I'm, not go <laughs> I'm going, I'm going cookie raw. I'm going, I'm going cookie raw. I'm going to eat, think, eat uh, hard. I think <laughs> you have to be born into uh, culture. I don't okay. think you can just ascend to culture. Okay. You know I mean? okay. That will be my, that will be my, uh, uh, prognosis on the matter as a, as a professional. What if someone who wasn't a culture wanted to be a culture, would you like like teach them how to be a culture? I think they would have to go through the trials. Yeah. They would have to go through the trials. What, are the, trials, what are the trials to be a culture? Seven years in the fields. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> pulling raw spots. I wouldn't last a day. Pulling, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, George, well, how much money do you have? What's the, all the gold? Where's all the gold? <laughs> uh, being able to pull, you know, a John Deere tractor uh, out of mud yes. with your bare hands. Yes. You know what I mean? That'll, that'll be one for sure. Um, what if, does it count, I, I, does it count if you pick snails from the ground? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. from Neary once, does that count or? <laughs> no, that's okay. Get yourself checked. Wait, wait, right, so we need yes. to get into this. Uh -huh. So Spud Clan. Yes. yes. Tell us, Tell us about, no, about. first of all, before we get into that, I want to talk about first, um, how did you start out on TikTok? Okay. Did you have like an epiphany like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a bunch of random shit on TikTok okay. and see if I uh, get famous. What, 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 um, was the, what, what was the first well, thought that came to your head? Like, so when I first started, I thought to myself, why, you know, when I first started, it was actually, it was my partner who said to me like, you know, go and promote music. I was doing music at the yes. time. Uh, I thought to myself, right, okay, clearly this is the path that I want to take. Mm -hmm. uh, I got into the music side of things and it did absolutely shit. You know okay. what I mean? Oh, like there's no, there's no point. You know what I mean? So after sort of, a many a night of sitting, you know, making five videos of cover songs that were all shaped. Yeah. I thought to myself, let's, what, what do I know better? And I was like, the only two things that I know best in the world is an insatiable amount of knowledge in Star Wars lore. Oh, um, oh, uh, oh yeah. yes. <laughs> and, uh, He's ready to enter, folks. <laughs> uh, this is the way. This uh, is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> and then uh, the other side of it was just where I'm from, from uh, you know, from around these parts. Yeah. Um, so from that, uh, I was sort of had this concept of like, what what if Star Wars was set in Belfast? Nice. That was the first concept, nice. and it was very simple. But it was the first video I ever did that went kind of half decently viral. Yeah, yeah. And uh, from there, I was like, right, okay, that was really fun, but that took me like six hours to do, oh, and I did upload every single day. Yeah. So I have a like I have a degree in film or whatever. How can I how can I use this? And then it kind of came to me. I was like, what if we made low quality a niche? What if we did? A, what if we did the best possible story that we could do, but at the lowest version, the lowest possible yeah. table, and yeah. then and then built the following from that. <laughs> so no matter what it did, yeah. I was able to if I could even make it better. <laughs> I would be applauded for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it all sort of started from there, uh, and then over time, I've sort of just been trying out you know different we uh, you know techniques and things that got there. The green screen, yes. uh, the way it works is literally just that I take a green screen of my head, yes. you know what I mean, yeah. and then place it on the body yeah. of a uh, uh, Harrison Ford yeah. or something like yeah. that, yeah. Or, yeah. An <laughs> or an Avenger, or an Avenger, yes. Yes. Or, uh, you know, it's just a dream, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, the irony is though that just every you know person that I put it on. Uh, it's massively buff. <laughs> uh, it's like a, you know what I mean? I don't even have to try. Fuck yeah. these gym guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought this stuff figured out. <laughs> Film magic. So that was where that was where yeah. it started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your personal favorite video you've done? So yes, I like the favorite? Avengers yes. ones. I like the Avengers ones. ones are the Pokemon's a personal yeah. favorite as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what would be your favorite? It's a tough one. Uh, I really enjoyed the. Uh, there was there was one I did way way back, and nobody's ever seen it. Uh, so I have a friend of mine who said to me, I know he's a really funny lad, I mean, I take a lot of inspiration from him, and he'd be the person I'd send my stuff to 
if uh, he'd be the only person to send it to to kind of get it vetted, you know, to yeah, see if yeah. it's actually funny or not. Because it's very difficult to tell, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I said to him, I've said him a thousand times, I was like, come on, just be in it. You know what I mean? Like, just once. And he was like, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not going to do it. come on, just once. And he was like, okay. And I was like, what do you want me to play? And I was like, I have a concept for you. Called Cheek here. And he was like, stop right there. <laughs> stop right there. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, so that was probably the favorite one. So the idea of it was just basically that uh, aliens had invaded uh, Northern, uh, aliens have been in Northern Ireland and everyone was bunched up in City Hall it was the final you know resting place or whatever and uh, <laughs> they you know they were, they were two two characters were hiding and the only other person that was alive was Kulchi Kier nice and because of that being the fact Kulchi oh, Kier was that George? <laughs> Kulchi okay. Kier uh, drove one of the main characters to walk out and eventually get incinerated by, <laughs> yeah, by the aliens, you know what I mean? Alien invasion in Belfast right now, huh. do you think we'd all survive or we'd all die straight away? Yeah, the, like, who, who do you think would actually survive an alien attack in Belfast? I have an interesting point about this, actually. Okay, all right. Seen during 2020, yes. do you know that Northern Ireland had its most recorded amount of UFO sightings? I heard something about that, yeah. I think yeah. it wasn't in, it was somewhere in Northern Ireland, I think it was like the, near the countryside. There has been a few more sightings yeah. this yeah. year as well, I've seen a lot on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I have a theory about this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a theory that the culture is really fun. I think I think uh, you know they were sort of flying, you know, aliens or whatever, whoever they are, mm. you know, were flying over. They were flying over flying. They noticed the entire world went quiet for a while. They were wondering what the fuck's going on. You know what I mean? They're kind of yeah. looking around the game, what's going on? They fly over, you know, uh, they fly over Culchi Land <laughs> for mana. You know, they're they're sort of just floating. Yeah. They look down, they're like, lads, look at that crop field, look at that crop field. We could do something. <laughs> <laughs> we just we just leave our you know graffiti on the ground, and they're like, then you know they look down, they look to the right, and they see just a man standing, bothered me. <laughs> and they're like, fuck no, like fuck, speaking in some sort of strange dialect. <laughs> nobody, nobody in humanity or the universe can understand. It. And they're like, you know what, lads, we'll leave it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've already got abducted anyway. <laughs> and now it's like one of those things we find whenever we're on the internet. Now. You know what I mean? Where we go, we come across some of them people. Yeah. And they're really strange and sometimes cringy. Yeah. But we can't stop watching them. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what, what that's what Northern Ireland. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. What is Spud Clan? Right. What is Spud Clan? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll take it. Do you know I'll be serious? I'll yeah. be serious, right? I'll be serious. When I started Spud Clan, mm-hmm. when I, when I first wanted to get it going, yeah. The idea of it was, what if? So all I heard for the longest time was people on one side of the fence or people on the other. You know what I mean? Just yes. loud voices, you know what I mean? Uh, being very pro-national, support unionist. And there was nobody in the middle. Nobody, like no concept for the, for the idea of people who yeah. just wanted to not give a fuck. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had, they had this, uh, I had this revelation that city. I was like, what if there was a center community? Mm. What if there was a point where some two people, like people in the middle, could come together, a mass of 80%, I would yes. say, and the middle could come together and just laugh at everybody yes. else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that was that was the idea. It was born from that. And then the other point of it was, so for a while, uh, I love, I love, I love uh, trolls lots. Yeah. Love trolls. <laughs> <laughs> you got a troll. You got a troll. <laughs> See the other day? And he was so, he, he felt so like proud of himself for getting a troll. Yeah. 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 I actually took a picture from my Instagram. Uh, <laughs> God, we, I think they go so far. Trolls are uh, like, if you just, Aim, if trolls aim their trolliness mm. at things, you know what I mean? If they ended up like making a million pounds, we would have a world full of, of great, you know, money makers, but they all be on the yeah. but, they would <laughs> <laughs> but that would be great. So the idea that I had was um, for the longest time in my lives and everything like that there I was doing, I had a pile of trolls and I thought, right, the only thing that they really need is attention. Yeah. That's why they're doing it, you know, and that's fine. What if I just spend 10 minutes on each of them and give them all the attention they deserve. You know what I mean? And I would take the piss out of them back. I wouldn't even be rude or tell them in any way that I would, that I would be offended by what they're saying. I would yeah. just give them all the attention. And it's really funny. So after a while, after slobbering at them for like 20 minutes, they would just go silent. They'd be nothing. And then I would just come up, you know, do it master, you know, Andrew Tate fan. <laughs> so that happened for ages. So that happened for ages. And I was like, unreal, right? Now I've got a pile of trolls. What that do with them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because it's like, you know, it's like throwing in like a, like a nuclear bomb. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, what do you do? Because every time somebody's going to comment, they're going to say something else. And then that idea came to me. What if I aim them? What if I just 
direct them at the other trolls. Yeah. I like cannibalize them all. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I remember there was one day, one of my favorite times there was this one uh one one particular lad who was very, very, very like there's trolls and then there's people who just take it too far. Yes. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. So uh, this is one of these lads who took it too far. And it was one of those beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. So I started off, I realized I only realized when somebody sent it that there's an, there's a spot emoji. I was <laughs> like, oh I can work with this. <laughs> so I sent in this uh, so I was like, right, okay lads, if you see anything in relation to hatred, true hatred, you know what I mean? All I want you to do, I don't want you to say nothing to them, I don't want you to be mean back. All I want you to do send is send the spot a spot emoji and I want you to spam it as much as you can. <laughs> so I woke up the next day, this, this guy, he had left something kind of like, you know, derogatory or whatever on, mm. the, on the point. And I went in, I don't know, 99 plus notifications. And I was like, you know when something happens yeah. and you're like, yeah. I've, you know, I've made yeah. kids. Yeah. It's time to quit my job and like, you know, <laughs> tell, tell, yeah. tell my wife, it's, you know, we're moving to Canada or something. <laughs> so uh, we were in that, so it just didn't work up, but it wasn't, it was just comments. It was something like, it was something like 105 comments. <laughs> and it was all just under this one guy's comment. Yeah. Of just spot <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. But it went further than that. I went into his profile, he had two videos up and his entire stream. <laughs> And then That's after really the, really then the next day, I deleted the comment and blocked me. Oh, <laughs> it's like, so it, it's beautiful. It is one of those nice things where George. I'm yeah, do you know why? Because um, my thing died in the hotspot. And we oh, right, right, so right. everything is gone. Everything. <laughs> <Every question. laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, Hi, so that's that was that was where Spug Clan sort of nice. started, and then it's escalated to the point where we now have a flag. Nice. Um, Are you have, thinking about yep. more merchandise? Is, is it going to be a t-shirt? Is it going to be a hat? Is there actually going to be? Do you like in Always Sunny? Uh -huh. Have you seen Danny Field with the yeah, egg? Yeah, yeah, is yeah, there going to yeah. be a spud? <laughs> <laughs> I had a great idea, which I'm still hopefully going to do. Uh, merchandise is coming. It is nice. Coming. Uh, nice. Gonna, so you're gonna get like that yeah, yeah. You know, um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to get it done. But the. Uh, I want to do something more. I don't like the idea of just going, here lads, buy my t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I found for the longest time, uh, back in the day, things like, you know, you know, like back in the day, the people could, there was like a period in, just before COVID where everybody would go like, geocaching. Yes. Yeah, 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 weird yeah, things, yeah, yeah, weird yeah. things. Mm -hmm. I actually found, I have a really weird story about this, actually, just before I continue. Uh, I was out in a place called Ballerona. Okay. With a couple of mates. Mm. We were having a good, we were just running around trying to find these wee caches. We looked down the ground. It's like 300 pounds. Oh, Ooh. Sense. Oh yeah, we all, looked, <laughs> we all looked at each other and we were like, this is a drug deal. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't take it away. Yeah, I wouldn't take it away. away. Yeah. Oh, we did. Still a free ways. Yeah. Uh, so if you are by any chance someone who perhaps sells, uh, you know, a certain amount of illegal products in the Ballerone area, I'm sorry, I took a three hundred. It was me. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, no. <laughs> well, now you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, now you know, it's like, fuck it. Uh, so the uh, where was that uh, so for the merchandise side of things mm -hmm. uh, I want to do a sort of like that idea I want to leave a bag of some description mm -hmm. with a pile of merchandise nice. funny things nice. in every county in Northern Ireland they'll, they'll yeah. every town I'll try and get as far as I possibly can and then put small do a series of just small videos yeah. with small clues and things nice. like that where I'll reveal it and then in every single one of them yeah. They're going to be just a golden roasty. Nice. A golden nice. roasty. That's what I was thinking. Like, like, I was thinking, like, maybe it's still, it's still like, like Easter egg hunts. Ah, yeah. It should yeah. be something like that. Uh, yeah, 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 nice. Uh, nice. So it'll be a cool, cool wee thing to do. And that, that's the intention for merchandise. Very nice. We'll get it out there. Very nice. I yeah. love that. I love that. Um, mm -hmm. You have to send us some complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some free gifts. Some free gifts. Yeah. Right. Can me and George be in the Swag Clan? Ooh. <laughs> are we are we allowed in the spud clan? Yeah, through the trial of the spuds. Okay, okay. okay. Well, what's the, what's we, the we, we have to know the level of the spud. Yeah, yeah. We, we okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the highest spud. Like, yeah. What's so, the highest uh, you can go? At the very bottom of, of the list, the foundation stones. The ones who are the casual watchers, the casual sort of uh, people who you know involve themselves in it. We scoops. Okay. So we scoops. Okay. That's where you're at right now. Okay. We scoops. Okay. okay. Oh. Entry, oh. Entry, <laughs> entry, <laughs> entry, <laughs> no, no. Entry level, you get we scoop, right? Okay. After a certain amount of time, you raise yourself to spud bud. Okay. You know I mean? yes. And that's yeah. that's the general community. That's the uh, that's that's the people who are of uh, of spud clan who spread the, the bird of spud clan. Then there's the authority of spud clan, the potato peeler. Okay. Nice. <laughs> uh, nice. These are the ones nice. that that uh, you know they they you know send all my message with an iron spud. Yes. With an iron fist. You know what I mean. Nice. Uh, and they they enforce all my all my laws and rules. 
And then on top of that is the is the elite, and that is the roosties or the <laughs> elder roosties. Once nice. you've been there from the start, nice. You know what I mean? And you can you can graduate to there. You know what I mean? Just take some time. Do you get uh, different? Do you get do you do you get different awards for each level you yeah, get? Of course. <laughs> it's more like enlightenment. Yeah. yeah. Let's, okay. Well, let's let's not pretend, right? It's definitely a cult. Yeah. <laughs> You go in jail, you get you get thrown in jail, but like Spud Clan help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bombs everywhere. I've got Spud Assassins all around. Yeah. Fuck. You gotta be the next Ted Bundy. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was. Uh, it is. It's a wonderful thing, and I really do just love uh, interacting with yeah. people and getting around. Because I feel like, see, to be honest with you. Northern Ireland or the north of Ireland, mm. whatever prefer, prefer preference you, you know, yeah, want to yeah, take there, yeah. is such a niche place to create content. Yes, yes, sure. yes, yes everybody, sure. everybody in this, everybody in our culture, everybody is so mm. like scared to do something bigger than themselves. Yes, you know what I mean. That's right. I believe in that. I believe that every person here has an opportunity. Like every person who from here has like extreme drive. To do things. Have yes. you ever met like a lorry driver? Yes. Or a taxi man? Uh-huh. They'll go to like five o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. for an extra, you know, ten. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they just applied that to something bigger, yes. they would be um they'd be millionaires. Oh, oh, yeah. I, was, I was actually in a taxi once. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh god. And I, I think the taxi driver was a murderer. <laughs> actually actually because he said because I mentioned I was from Africa because he was asking my accent and uh-huh. I grew up in a family from my mom's from Ukraine. Okay. My dad's from Zimbabwe, so I mm-hmm. kind of I have a weird, weirder accent. I'm just are. pure Irish. <laughs> yeah. I'm nothing special. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, the taxi driver said, oh yeah, mate, I was from South Africa as well. And, uh, you know, I was uh, shooting some people on my lawn and all that. <laughs> <laughs> just casually hunting them down. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, all right, neighbor. <laughs> and he sounded excited about it. He was like, yeah, it's defending my property. And he was like, you know, I was just, I was just shooting some people. But was the guy just walking past his lawn or was he? <laughs> I don't know, he mentioned three people that he shot at. So and I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just casually just shooting people. So I, I, I didn't want to say anything, you know. So. Was his name Kevin? <laughs> I, I can't remember his name. I didn't ask his name. Ask his name so. Kevin, we know who you are. Yeah, <laughs> we, know, we, know, we know who you are, Kevin. We know who you are. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, fuck. Yes. Do you get recognized in the streets? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a very, like... Like, I can imagine them almost, like, getting so scared to come up to you and be like, oh, my God, it's the almighty spot. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is this weird, there is this weird, like, transition between it all. Uh, my favorite story so far, uh, and uh, this goes out to two lads. Uh, I will not, uh, I'll not name them just for their own. For their we'll own call name. them Ben and Jerry. Uh, ben and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> ben and Jerry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is one of my favorite sort of meetings that I've had so far. So I was in Starbucks in mm-hmm. Victoria Square yes. or whatever. Uh, that probably just revealed one of the people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in Starbucks and was having, uh, I was going up just for a coffee or whatever. And I put the thing through and I noticed this thing happened lads, and I don't think anybody else really caught it yet. There's a look. It's really stupid. Yes. It's just yeah. this like, they go, they look and they go. Like a second glance almost thing. And it's an extended Yeah, figure. yeah. And sometimes that happens and they pass on, you know, and sometimes like, I'm too far gone for them to turn mm-hmm. around. But if it's just a right amount of time, they'll go, I'm like, oh my God, you're the guy TikTok, and that's fine. But this guy gave me that look, and I was like, great, okay, maybe he knows you, and that's fine. I don't try to be all big headed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I'll say no. And he turns, like, you're the guy TikTok, and it's like, yeah, 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 let's go. And I was like, one of my, me and my friend are massive fans here. Uh, we're, you know, uh, he, you know, he, we would watch your stuff all the time. Like, yeah, thank you, you know, thank you, man, blah, blah, blah. You know, what's your, what's your friend's name? I mean, Jerry. Yeah, 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 Jerry. Jerry. So like, uh, he's like, it's Jerry. And I was like, okay, I'm going to put, uh, give me a wee bit of time and I'm going to find a place where I'm going to put one of my characters, one of the characters to create's name going to be Jerry. Okay. okay just nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you'll know about me. He's like, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> but three weeks later, I was walking out and I was going to go see Shane Todd uh, yes. in uh, the Grand Opera House. Nice. nice. I was walking down the street and I saw the lad who was dressed exactly like me. It was very strange. He got the exact same uh, coat that I have on me now. And he looks up at me and I look at him and he gives me that look. And he walked down the stairs and I was like, how's it going, man? He was like, you're the guy from TikTok. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he was like, you were talking to one of my friends <laughs> you know, like the other week. Uh, he was, uh, you were talking to one of my friends the other week who works at Starbucks. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, yeah. So he's like, you were meant to make a video about me. And I was like, yeah, I was. But I didn't. <laughs> 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 oh no, I apologize. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well you but, uh, will you make a video for him? I will, I will. Yeah. You know what? I'll make this my pledge. Nice. Uh, you You've Jerry. got this on camera, you got uh, this on camera. Yeah, yeah. Ben and Jerry, if you're listening to this, you know who you are, Ben and Jerry, he will make a video. Uh-huh. Um but yeah, no, it's cool, it's really cool to meet people. Uh because I'm literally 
now I have no concept of anything to do. See, for the longest time, I started this in lockdown or whatever, so there was no meeting anybody, and none of this was real. Yeah. All this was numbers, and people just ran to, like, yeah. you know, you're playing a Sims game or something like that there. It was like that. Everything was a simulation. Yeah. And then it started to become real life, and it got wild scary for a while. We have a theory about that. Oh, please. Well, we, what's your fear? Thomas, your special theory about GTA characters. Oh, yes. We okay, think no, I, I, I want to say it first. I want to say it first. I want to say it first. We're all NPCs, right? In a GTA game. Oh, okay. Because think about it, think about it, because like, it's just, if you think about it, we are in a GTA game, like everything you see around us, it's like, we're, we're NPCs, we are, we are NPCs. Expand on that, that was... I don't know how to, I just know that we are in a GTA game. Does that make like, am I an anomaly? <laughs> yeah. Like, am I a glitch? We're all, we're all <laughs> just fake, we're all fake. How do we break out of this matrix? Uh -huh. Do you know what we do? Um, I feel like, right, do you know what it is? Do you know every time we die, mm -hmm. we we uh, respawn. Mm. That's what we do. We respawn. That'd be shit though. <laughs> <laughs> respawn, but in like a completely like. Imagine for like the first nine or first nine months when you're in the womb. Yeah. You're just you're lying there. You're like off. Oh, you're on the pause <laughs> screen. You're on the pause <laughs> screen. No, just just <laughs> the loading you're, screen. You're, you're all. You're all. You know, <laughs> the loading screen. Your mouth, and you're all like. Fuck's <laughs> I would, I would wish I did you know, I would say. Fuck's sake. I mean, you forget. Yeah. <laughs> so, How did they get here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, right, you know what? We actually have a couple of red pills and blue pills in the, the cupboard. Ooh. So we'll take that. I'm guessing the blue pills for you, your Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking of Viagra, right? No, no, no. no, let's talk about our nights out. Um, Right, John, oh, John I, was, was, was your worst No, hold on. Before, or he about, that, before he gets into what, 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 I need to say, I was recognised once Ooh, in right. Limelight. Have mm. you, you been in Limelight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was recognised in Limelight Toilets. Nice. <laughs> Which uh, is <laughs> not a good sign. I don't think it's a good sign. <laughs> no, you know, oh, you sure it's not a good sign? People throw it up. No, he wrecked it. Wreck. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the, guy, the guy recognizes him from just the toilet. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, it's George. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, know, you know the awkward thing when you're, a, when you're at a heavy night out and everyone's uh, thrown up in the toilet. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then everyone's standing in a line awkwardly. Like, <laughs> you know, I need the toilet. You're looking around. And the guy looked at me and he's like, hey, you're, uh, you're George Osborne? And I'm like, no, I'm not George Osborne. I'm George Gibson. He's like, oh, uh -huh. yeah, but you're George. You do videos with Thomas. Oh, okay. And, like, yeah, 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 yeah. and I was like, yeah, thanks, mate. And I'm we're just like still standing yeah, there, like yeah. waiting. George Osborne sounds like the greatest. I know it sounds like a rock star <laughs> sort of name, doesn't like, it? I like a villain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in the villain. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually got recognised as well now that you were talking about it because I told you about it I was walking past the Odyssey uh -huh. and I was just walking past and he stopped me and he was like are you Thomas Crown? I was like yeah he's like oh I've seen all your films right. I was like oh yeah thanks Happy yeah it was so cool yeah. it was so he cool you infected. I, I'm oh, infected the century later mm. Oh, the oh, yes. yeah. the spot clan. Oh fuck, we, we can do that. Kind of oh, we need to. This is a series yes. that we uh -huh. almost finished. We're almost finished. Yeah. It's been two years. It's been two years since okay. since we made it, but like it's it's because of because of lockdown and yeah, COVID yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. It's been hard to make it, but it's an infected series, and we've done two series so far, okay. and we're making our finale. And our finale takes place in this sanctuary. You should be our sanctuary leader. Okay, I'm 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 in. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I'll be awesome. the uh, I'll be the fox in the hole. <laughs> right. Um, so on to our liar notes. So what's your most embarrassing night out? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you allowed to on camera? <laughs> <laughs> George, remember this um, this podcast. You don't have to, there's no censorship. You can say whatever you want, whatever you want. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So uh, the uh, the most. Hold on a second. I want to do something. Like, talk to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the most embarrassing night uh, I had was after uh, I had been dumped by a girl. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I only okay. refer to this night as... We dark. all know that. We all know that. <laughs> I, only, I only refer to this night as Dark Saturday. When you come from a small town, right, you're almost... Uh, ex like you know the rest of the world doesn't exist yep. you're just sort of uh, excluding this one bubble like under the dome yeah you know I mean? so like banger or almost <laughs> even, even no it's a city now it's a city now you know? well, I still call it a town nah, that's yeah, just yeah, bullshit yeah. I think yeah they're trying to they're trying to flex yeah, yeah. so uh, no anyway so there's a lot of things that when you're growing up when you're 17 this is probably just pro to internet like, okay you know everyone was just YouTube was just sort of starting to kick off yes. etc so I remember I was at a friend's house he was like we could have something He's like, it's really strong drink. And I was like, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, no one, no one that it's, uh, no one, no one now went up. That's a yes. terrible idea. But I ended up, uh, I ended up drinking like a quarter bottle of 
absinthe. And uh, I felt great. I felt fine for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then uh, we just finished it off. I was walking down the street. And I started to feel this like urge to like just go home. <laughs> like, I heard a voice. It was like, go home, John. It's, it's not time. <laughs> you're, you're, having a, you're going to have a moment. Yeah. Uh, and I walked in and uh, in the small town that I was in, I got through the, I went up to the bouncer and the bouncer looked at me and I looked at him. I said, how's it going? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I said, you sure? Said, yeah, I'm fine. Why are you asking me these sort of questions? Here, you're my mom. And he was like, oh, sorry, go ahead of him. And I remember there was this moment of like enlightenment. Like I, I had did it. Yeah. I had achieved it. Yeah. Because the whole time I was going down, I was convinced I wasn't getting in. So I got through the door and I was so happy. It was, it was the greatest moment of my whole life. Yeah. I went down and I ordered my first drink. And then after this period, lads, everything starts to just yeah. chop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like uh, uh, you know, you know when like uh, when footage starts to lag. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, like things, things may or may not have happened. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. drop. Yeah. So uh, is this the quality <laughs> yeah. just dropped yeah. so bad. Yeah. yeah, I was I was working in like you know three three sixty p. Yes, yes. So yeah. uh, I was going through this whole period, and I walked in, and I remember seeing my best friend of at that time probably 16 years give or take yeah she's you know she's a girl one of my one of my one of my best friends never uh particularly nothing ever between us yes yeah yeah but that night though that night i was convinced <laughs> i was convinced lads i had a chance yeah i had all the courage in my mind i had all the courage in my brain and my heart i was like i'm gonna go up and she's gonna fall in love with me and because, because I'm, I'm not a, an absent i'm really I'm I'm there is and i was like how's it going she was like, yeah, bye. I was like, okay, cool. She's like, I was like, listen, what if? And she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> just no. <laughs> no. She knew right away. She knew right away. Yeah, I was looking for you. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> so uh, I ended up, uh, I went back up the stairs and the, the friend of, uh, the best friend of my ex at the time, I mm-hmm. uh, was up there when I was in the smoking area. I was just, I was by myself. I don't know why. I, I do know why. It's because I was a, ma- a massive melt. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you know those things, you know those, uh, like I always talk about this too. You know the way sometimes you're on a night out and you, you sort of find some girls and yes. they're like, they're, they're crying outside. I know how that feels. I know how that feels. I'm, I'm, I've been there. You know what I mean? So that's not I wasn't crying. Well, maybe I was. I don't know. <laughs> you know I've lagged there. Like, yeah, yeah. Free 60 <laughs> <page. laughs> So I was, I was sort of in the stupor just, you know, thinking about life. You know, thinking about, well, I'm actually not thinking about anything. I'm more just hyper focused on like ten different things that are happening around me, and then she walks. This the best friend walks up and she's like, "See, John, I just I want to talk to you about something." I was like, "I don't sweat. What do you want? What do you want to talk about?" Just like this, and it's just um, your your ex. Um, you know, it's just I'm sad that you two uh you know broke up, and I think actually she wants to maybe give it a second chance. And I was like, "Well, like, here's the thing." Here's the thing. <laughs> Deidre, I'm calling it. <laughs> just, Deidre. Here's the thing, Deidre. I just, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, like, she's just a bitch. <laughs> and, I, and I don't, uh, and I don't think it'll ever work. And, uh, you know, I just I had the confidence. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. say, I wouldn't say it's yeah. but I was a little yeah. And then uh, I felt a strike upon my face. <laughs> uh, don't know where that one came from. <laughs> and then on the way back down the stairs, it was a stared area to, to the smoking mm-hmm. area. I fell. And I remember, I don't remember <laughs> falling, but nothing hurt at that point. I was shooting up by, I was shooting up by firstly, being broke up with, but secondly, yeah. just being really drunk. And I fell down the stairs and I got back up and I was literally super mad. I was like, I can, I'm convinced I could fight somebody right now. And I nearly did. So I went down and I went to the toilets. And then there's another lag called where... 360. Yeah, where 360. I was broken. Yeah. I was broken for a while. Probably quite a while. Probably all over the place, you know what I mean? I definitely am convinced that I didn't make it to the toilet. Although I like to give myself and did because I like to be a good human being. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I remember these, I remember feeling these massively strong arms. Like the arms of God himself just reached down and pulled me up. And I was like, I'm being saved. This is I found Jesus. You know what I mean? This is, he's come for me now. Am I, I'm going to die. This is like, uh, and then I looked across to this black shirt. Big, angry, sweaty man. Sweaty man. He had gleam upon him, you know what I mean? And he was furious and he was just like, are you too drunk? Get out. And I was like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not too drunk. You cannot throw me out here. And the next thing I know, I was thrown and, and I landed or whatever. Then it gets down to about 
180p. You know, there's nothing yes, there. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. But I remember there's this there's this really weird thing, and I wanted to somehow include this in some sort yes. of film in the future. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. So we'll make it up. I was, we'll walking, make it up. <laughs> I was walking. I remember there's only two memories I have after this, right? And there's this blackout moment where not I don't know what happens. It's really kind of scary. I remember walking down. And I stopped at a street. So my house was this way. And there's this longer way to my yep. house. I stopped there and I go, no, I'm too drunk. I'm going to go the other way. And I have no recollection of what happened upon that path. <laughs> but all I know though, I, all I know though, is that when I got into the house, um, that, or when, I, when I got into the house that night, and this is the last memory I have. Like, yeah. I went to my father. He was in the house today. I went to my father. And I said to him, father, I don't feel well. <laughs> and I don't remember what happened after that. Do you ever have those moments where you're like, uh, you're in a parallel universe? Yes, yeah, 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 all, yeah, the time, yeah, all the time. So the one right now. I, yeah, <laughs> so I woke up the next day uh, and I was convinced, because I couldn't remember the night before, I was convinced none of it happened. It was all a dream. I woke up though in a really strange, because usually I just sleep, you know, in the briefs, in the boxes, right? Mm. But I woke up in jammies. <laughs> And a new set of bread seats. And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's happened. <laughs> I've fallen through the, the dimension. dimension yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just having watching a movie about this. I know what's going to happen next. I'm going to go downstairs and my ma is definitely not going to be a gingery woman. You know what I mean? It's going to be some fucking mad. Your ma's going to be your dad. I, 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 so my, I, my ma's going to be Asian or something. Yeah. Right? It's going to be a strange thing. I'm going to live in like South Korea or something. You know? But I'm downstairs and I'm just fine. And I came in to my father and he was sitting down and he was reading his newspaper. And he just looked up to me and he goes, you were a disappointment last night. So, <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean that? And he was like, you were just a, everything, you know, the amount of stuff I had to go through to get you. And I was like, I wasn't even that drunk. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, and then he was like, and I was like, well, whilst you were vomiting all over the place, I had to get you a basin. And as we were sitting, you know, as you were sitting straight up, uh, you began to pass out. And as you passed out, the entire basin fell over you. Oh! Out of your bed and everything else. And I had to 4am in the morning changing you out of, out of your thing whilst you were unconscious in the floor. And I was like, do you know what, that, fair enough. You win, you win this one. Oh, but here's the strange thing about yeah. this. So the next day I woke up and there was this one flash. No, sorry. Two weeks passed. Two weeks passed. Mm -hmm. This one flash. Because I remember waking up the next day and I had bruises all down my ribs and black, like sort of like half sort of bruised cheek. And yeah. all of this. And I was like, I noticed along my fists were slightly bruised. Oh dear. I was like, I've been in a fight. I've never would have really been in a fight before. I was like, I've been in a fight, but I have no idea who with. So now, what's this, like maybe 10 years on from where mm -hmm. I was, I come across people in the streets and I look at them and I go, was it you? <laughs> was it you? Were you the person yeah. that I fought? Yeah, it was Thomas. <laughs> it was Thomas. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. It was definitely Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, yeah, that was my. That was definitely my worst nighter. That was that that's, was that's okay. Pretty that's, pretty that's a story. That's we, a story. We've had nights up, but we've already mentioned them. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, we can always mention one more. Well, well, think of think think of another one. It doesn't have to be a drunk night. Just an embarrassing. Oh, there's one I didn't mention. What? Where um, I don't think I mentioned. So we took Thomas to Thompson's. You did tell. You did Ooh. say this. You did say this. Did we say this one? But or? you said it. Anyway. Yeah. Go on ahead. I'm in yeah, trouble. go on. I'm in trouble. Right. So it was a rough night in Thompson's. Uh, <laughs> as it is. Never go to Thompson's. Always Never always go to Thompson's. Never go to Thompson's. <laughs> um, go on, mate. Thomas was offered um, some substances. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some spuds. <Yeah. laughs> he, was, he was asked for some substances, but he didn't have any on him. Oh. So the girl walked away. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why that happened, though, do you want to explain why no, we were out no, in the streets? No. no. Oh, yeah, because he was pissed. So okay. I was trying oh, to get him yeah. home, and he mm -hmm. kept falling over and all that. Mm -hmm. I tried to get him to have water, but he wasn't having it. Fair. So um, I had to call my parents at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning. 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> my mom hates him after this now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, his, so his dad and him had to carry me back into my house. Like, mm -hmm. Literally, they had to open my door at 4 o'clock in the morning. As soon as he got through the door. I fell as soon as he got mom, through. And my mom was there <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> and they, she saw everything. She was like, George, that's the last time you're taking Thomas out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't the last time. But, no, uh, no, no. We've been nice so many yeah, times yeah. out of that. Fuck's um, sake. I, no, that's mad. That's mad. I love, a good, I love the, the ulcers, but I'm too old now, lads. I don't care what anybody says. After twenty seven, it's over. Oh no! Well, our friend We're Johnny goes. Our friend Johnny. He's <laughs> he, our friend Johnny's thirty, or is, is it thirty one? Yeah, and he goes out all the time. He's yeah. you, he's trying, but he's just in, he's in a loop. Somebody tell Johnny he's in a loop. Johnny, Johnny, you're in a loop. You're in a loop. It's time to get over it. 
<laughs> you're going to be dead soon. <laughs> Settle down. No, with the amount of drink he's going to be dead. <laughs> Settle down, procreate. And, you know, find Jesus. And, well, he's uh, definitely procreating, so that's one thing done. Or at least he's trying. <laughs> he's trying to, yeah. Trying. <laughs> he's had zero, zero success, has he? Yeah, zero zero success. success. Look, yeah. as long as you're always trying, that's, that's, yeah, the that's most it. important thing, you know what I mean? Speaking of trying, hmm. last night, when we tell about okay. no. No, yeah, should I? But uh, I, well, I'm not gonna post this on TikTok. She, if she wants to listen to it, she can. Yeah. No, no, post it. Post it. I'm not posting on TikTok. Don't say any names. Don't say any names. Okay, well yeah, then. Uh, like, <laughs> so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so uh, obviously, as you know, I've been single for about a year now, and um, I've been on dating scene. So I've only had about like three dates since I got broken up with, right? Mm -hmm. So I went on a date yesterday mm -hmm. with a girl called let's call no, her let's that. call her Jasmine, right? Yeah. Let's call her Jasmine, <laughs> Lovely name. right? Lovely name. And. Um, so we went to we went to the cinema. Mm -hmm. As you do. As you do. <laughs> well, the cinema, the cinema. Yeah. What do you do when the, 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 yeah, do 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 when the lights? All right, right. <laughs> I don't know what came over, but she's a horny bastard. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't even remember half of the film. You might have. She had some mental issues. Don't check the tanny as much. I respect it. It's a young man's game. That's it. That's it. And then now I have another date tomorrow. Nice. Well, look at you. With a different girl. Look at you. Girl. You're 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 a you're a pro top G. Yeah. Top, top, G. G. Pro, top G. You're a normal top wait, G. Am I the top level of spud clown? I don't know yet. Is he roasty? Am I roasty? Yeah. No, no. You're you're you know it's the hair. You know what I mean? You you. It's, oh, you've what got, hair? <laughs> you've got the perfect. You've got the perfect sheen of a of a, of a roasty. You could you could definitely like, get up there. You know what I mean? Nice. Um. Nice. But hi. What was I going to say? The uh, I have an interesting theory about mm -hmm. like, sort of. Aliens, okay. Ooh, and, right, and, right. And all this here. Have you ever seen an alien? A virus? Yes. Ooh, yes. Uh, no, but like not one. Really. <laughs> I've definitely seen people that look like aliens. Yes. Oh, yeah, but yeah. um, I, I did one time. There was a mad. Uh, now I, I don't tell the story often, so this is an exclusive. Okay, so this, this is exclusive. This guys, makes me sound. Oh, he did not. <laughs> you know? uh, but me and a friend of mine were uh, driving over to a place close to where I live or where I used to live called. Uh, Tomb Bridge. Yes, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's this big sort of massive uh, arch, right? Mm -hmm. And they shoot this blue light. Yes. Up into yeah. this guy or whatever. So me and my friend we were driving, I can't remember, we were coming from McDonald's. No, do you know what it was? We were coming from Antrim Big Desk. Okay. Was Antrim Big Desk. Oh, yeah. Such, there such, I've been there before. <laughs> day. Such a day. vibe. Such a vibe. I love, big, I love going to Antrim Big Desk. But anyway, besides the point. So we're driving down, uh, we're driving over it. And it's the only time, lads, See, sometimes you maybe look up into the sky or whatever and you see like the odd movement. Or yes. Like, maybe that was a thing. This is the only time I've legitimately felt I've seen something that's a bit like unexplainable. Mm. I, I couldn't explain it. But as I was flying over, on, on the glow of the, the blue arches, mm. there was a full rotating saucer and it just flew over us for a second. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? But I said nothing. I was like, because I go mad. I'm convinced myself. <laughs> this is it. Game over. <laughs> I've lost it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're, we're, we're flying over and then uh, I turn to my friend and I'm like, did you see that? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> so, um, but the problem is, right, this is the thing that fries my head, right? Yeah. He found Jesus. My friend. He found Jesus. And good for him. Good for him. No disrespect to a man who finds Jesus. You know what I mean? I haven't found him yet. We found him. You found him. Yes. Congratulations, lads. Yes. Congratulations. You know, he's been... He was, he was hidden away somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, he was in some cupboard somewhere. He was, he was away from the yeah. toasters. Yeah. Yeah. He's all putting the toasters back on, yeah. the, on yeah. the shelf. He was on the holiday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, he's found Jesus or whatever. And it's so funny because his dad, who's a legend, mm. was, is like the, the main dude who runs like the Facebook page for the Northern Ireland, like, uh, UFO seconds. Okay. Oh, a legend of a guy. I love him. Love nice. Him. Nice. Um, but I turned around. He, he, he like was taking me out for a wee driving lesson or whatever. And I turned around to him and I go, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, me and your, me and your son seen one one time. And he, he goes, you never mentioned it to me. <laughs> I said, what do, you, what do you mean? You're literally the person he should talk to. About this. <laughs> and he was like, no, no, he never mentioned it to me. Uh, it's just because he's, you know, probably just because he's fine. You know? Yeah. And yeah. I was like, well, you know, at least he believes in something <laughs> yeah, in yeah. this guy. You know, yeah, I've yeah, just yeah. seen something a bit differently. <laughs> um, so that, yeah, I did. I did see. I did see something. Now, nice. whether or not if that it was real, or not. real, or I just seen something. Yeah, yeah. Could have been Thomas Flanders. Could have been Thomas Flanders. No, no, it would have been just me itself. I have bars. You don't know. It's <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, the, uh, I shit magic rainbows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was just me flying. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I did. Uh, I did one time. It was. It was. It was a cool experience. Nice. But, um, I don't. I don't know. Really now, do you think though mm -hmm. 
we're alone in the universe? Nah. No. No, definitely not. If we are, like, if if we if we truly are, we're fucked. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing. Well, I think we already are fucked because um, imagine, imagine in the vastness of the universe that like not even 0.5 percent of living like consciousness belongs to like somewhere like mm. you know banker. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in Bagger. <laughs> That's why they're all aliens. Fuck. Or Lauren. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah, not Lauren. Yeah, oh, fuck. Imagine, imagine that was it. No, that East was, Belfast. Was East Belfast. No one. Uh-huh. Everywhere you go, it's like, yo, man, what's the crap? Yeah, That's that is, alien language uh-huh, there, that right is, there. That fuck. Imagine that was it. That was the only, like, intelligent life left in the universe. <laughs> was East Belfast. I have a theory, <laughs> I have a theory <laughs> about that myself, to be fair. Oh, go on. Go on. Well, now, we are Christians, right? So. Good lads. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. So. It says the guy who talks about girls like stabbing oh, their ass yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and getting them drunk and getting let's them from behind. Get, <laughs> let's, let's not get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the time. That's a Christian, guys. Know. That's this a Christian. <laughs> right. But, uh, well, we are supposed to procreate. So. Uh-huh. From behind, apparently. <laughs> oh, listen. Listen. Right, so, so. I have three theories. Three okay. main theories. Go on. One of them is we are alone in the universe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is fine. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Of course, you got God and all the supernatural the angels and mm-hmm. demons and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean. There's, I suppose you could say they're supernatural in a way. Uh, yeah. Second, if I can't fight them, they're not real. If I can't true. fight them in real life. If they won't, uh, if they won't come out, you know, behind some sort of bin outside of a bus, <laughs> they're not real. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but go on. I also think there could be aliens. Okay. 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 Uh, and then the third theory is what we are seeing in the skies. Yeah. They're all demonic. Mm. But what if it's just a big light show? Well, or it could be satellites. Imagine, right, here's, here would be my, my next two of those, right? Imagine two of those put them together, right? Mm. Imagine how fucked up it would be if they came down yep. from thing and they were like, you know, we're here to make peace, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Because our God told us to. Where you look at them and go, what the fuck do you mean you're a God? <laughs> like, no, you know Jesus. Yeah. And I'm like, aye, Jesus, I we know him. How the fuck do you know him? But like, no, no, he came to our plan too. <laughs> Much of your region, you'd be yeah, like, like unspecial. Yeah, Jesus was just like a he was like a some sort of like planetary slut. He just went around all of the he just went around all the different you know cause yeah. you know intelligent life all around the universe <laughs> pretending to be their savior. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, even not even pretending to be yeah. their savior. Yeah. Like, oh, what happened? Did you, cruci- did you crucify him too? Oh, yeah, one hundred percent. We didn't even have crucifixions. He just he just wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so right. that, would be, that would be my that would be my theory. <laughs> I'd be totally thrown off. If now, I... apparently, there is aliens actually still actually living here with us, among us mm. at the moment. I've told you about this on TikTok. It was on TikTok. Some guy leaked uh, footage of um, it was actually a press conference in the US, and they were talking about uh, obviously NASA oh, yeah. and stuff like that, and them leaking information. And they were saying like aliens are actually working with the US government mm. as we speak. And two of them are called the white people. I don't know why, but that's just racist. That's just racist. The white people, that's what they call them, the white people. It's almost like like the white walkers, you yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. But anyway, but apparently there's two of them working with NASA and that's how they're getting into space and stuff like that. They're oh, teaching yeah. how to do it. I don't think they're going to space. I think it's all CGI. Well, I mean, big, landing fake. Big, fake. <laughs> the, the color, the color. No, to be honest, lads, even if the, the moon landed was fake, they could have done a better job. They yes, it looked better. realistic as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Like, no, 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 I mean, like, no, I mean, no, during the time, during the time, I mean, the opposite of that. I mean, like, if they were going to fake it, fucking fake it, don't make it shit. You know what I mean? I know, because he was saying about the camera. Ah, oh, he put the music in the background, you know, the entire music. Yeah. Yeah, but how did they film that little part, that little escape thing flying up out of the moon? Who was filming that? Who was padding that up? My mate. <laughs> He's probably just, um, like, you know, they probably had a guy. <laughs> Just, just left behind, behind. Like, oh, hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and then it'd be like, oh, you come, you come back, are you come back for us? Oh, oh, no, no, it was Michael Collins. Not the, <laughs> not, fam- not famed leader, Michael Collins of the, you know, our, yeah. you know, no, Michael Collins, the astronaut. He was just sort of floating about. Like, <laughs> like, the other two got to go on the planet and they turned around to him there. Do you want to come down? He's like, nah. <laughs> I've seen it already. You know what I mean? There's not much out there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not yeah. one for views. <laughs> um, so, so he must have went out and was just sort of floating around yeah. as we, as we enter a pod or something. You know, he probably had a ball. <laughs> like, Come on, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you. I'll catch you on the fly up. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so before we call it quits here, so I want to give a final message. So 
do you have any messages for, for any of your followers who are watching this right now? Do you have a message for them? Are they going to see part of this on uh, your channel? Yes, they will. I, I'd say I'll cut some bits if you guys are cool with that. Um, yep. Do you have any message for your fans or your followers? Don't drink absinthe. <laughs> <laughs> find, find Jesus. Find Jesus. Um, off the spuds. Off the spuds? Okay. Um, okay. There could be uh, intelligent life out there, but also always keep in mind that partly if we are alone in the universe that uh part of that intelligence in the vastness of space belongs to lauren <laughs> and, uh, what yeah. you gotta say to our our guest mr luke mr luke is a gentleman yes sir. Uh, a true a true gentleman thank you sir it's not, luke. It's not luke he's not sorry luke. Archibald. Butler. Archibald. 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 Uh, is Archibald. Archibald. no it's alexander alexander alexander, alexander. 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 character <laughs> uh, since he was born yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, he's seen one episode of like, I don't know. He played, he no. played, he played Laura Croft one time. And his favorite character was the uh, was the butler. Um, our, our, gift, our gift to you, you're not getting paid. So our gift to you is um. Why are the terms and conditions? He's your show of the spot club. So anytime you need something done, uh-huh. there you go. Yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, he's gonna be right now. <laughs> so guys. That's the end of episode four of the Furniture Party. Special. How did you find this podcast? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, they enjoy it. I had a great time. Do you Thank recommend? You so do you coming. recommend anyone else to join this podcast? No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually holding <laughs> him against our will. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're holding uh, him against his will. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just to my to my family. You know, <laughs> never stop searching. <laughs> never stop searching. <laughs> You'll <laughs> find him in space. <laughs> uh, so guys that is the end of the virtual party thank you very much for watching and for listening and uh, again if you want to join this podcast you can certainly message one of us you can message John well, you can message John you can message me you can message George but I yes <laughs> yes <he will> reply. <laughs> in about a few months uh-huh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you for joining John it's you've got it chief thank you yes. for having thank me thank you we're honorary spud members of course for yeah, now. we are now yeah. roosters put the work in we're roosters you'll, you'll get, no 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 no, no we, we have to be roosters yeah you have to work your way up oh okay roosters. so where are we at now where are we at now I would put you spud bud we'll put you in the spud bud uh, okay that's not bad that's, that's not bad that's, that's not bad you gotta earn it yeah earn it. okay what about Alexander what's oh, he he's roosting there you go guys Archibald Alexander sorry Alexander is a roosty right guys Thanks very much for watching and for listening, and we will see you next time. Bye. Hosted by Thomas McClellan and George Gibson.